welcome to the Belfry. You've joined me at the PJ National Golf Academy. My name is Chris Ryan, and in this video, we are, I have another product review or a training aid review for you. So I did something on my channel a couple of weeks back, um, said I was gonna to start to review some coaching aids or some, some things that are on the market that can help you develop your golf game further. I had some pretty uh, positive response. A lot of people liked the addition to the channel and liked the idea of me doing a few reviews on some things that are going to, as I say, help you improve. Now, there was a comment underneath that video and somebody asked me if I could review the G-Force training aid. I have one in my hands today. Now, interesting enough, this was a product that I was already currently using. And really what I thought I'd do with these videos to begin with is just review the things that I currently coach with. Um, so the first one was the Gabe Golf Swing Trainer and this one is the G-Force Swing Trainer. As I say, this is something that I already use within my coaching. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna start off and give you the information about what I use and then maybe look at expanding that to some other things that are gonna help you. So what is the G-Force Golf Trainer? Well, it's called, this one's called the G-Wedge uh, because that's the, it's the wedge. I've got this in 54 degrees, but I believe they do a seven iron and I also believe they do a putter as well. Now, as you can see, it comes in this black head. Uh, it's just a kind of pretty traditional shaped looking wedge as you can see there so it's quite a nice shape it sits nicely behind the ball and it has this white shaft now when we look at the shaft this is when we start to get into the real sort of idea about what this golf club is all about it looks like any other wedge however the shaft is extremely flexible it's made of a kind of plastic material i can almost kind of dig my fingernails in there i'm not exactly sure what that material is and then we obviously get the grip on the other end so it looks like any other wedge it's the same length as a wedge and say it's got 54 degrees aloft it's the shaft that is the difference so what does it do for you well the idea behind these products is that it really helps you with your rhythm and timing which interesting enough is what the the other products i reviewed was as well now i've only got this one here which is the 54 degree wedge but what i found is i actually really like this more for sort of short shots pitching chipping around the greens so the idea really is because the club shaft is so flexible when i swing it really makes me have a really good rhythm to my shots. Now, many of you out there who struggle with your short game may well find that actually, if you were to look at it on camera, it may well sort of tick all those boxes. It may look pretty good, but it's the rhythm that lets them down. So what we would tend to find with a lot of golfers is they'll make a pretty orthodox setup, but they get very kind of snatchy in the technique. Now, as you can see from that shot there, that was a pretty poor shot. This little device doesn't allow you to hit shots like that it doesn't feel particularly comfortable to do that what it does do is really makes you slow the whole thing down but for me more importantly it makes the transition much smoother so i have to feel with this that the transition between my backswing and my downswing whatever that distance of shot is whether it's five yards 50 yards wherever it may be but the transition has to be smooth And you can see there, with that smooth transition, I managed to pitch that ball probably about 35 yards out there. So, really interesting concept. It's incredible how strange it feels when you first pick the It really feels difficult to use. However, I generally find with a lot of golfers I've used it with, they get, I get some really good feedback. I get the, I get the feedback that, wow, this really makes me aware of my tempo, really makes me aware of the transition, really makes me more aware of the club head, which I think is really good for short game. Now, I'll just hit another one for you. So you can see really flexible as I take the club away, but as long as my timing is good, I can start to hit some pretty decent shots. Now, just a little disclaimer. This type of product is not suddenly gonna fix all your short game worries and troubles if you suddenly go out on the chipping green for 15, 20 minutes. This is the kind of product where we need to use it religiously. We need to go out there and we need to invest some time and some practice into using this golf club and actually into your golf game. For me, these kind of clubs, I would use this in practice along with your regular wedge. So what I mean by that is I would spend a lot of time out the short game area hitting some short pitch shots with this golf club. You then go back to your regular wedge 
and you try and replicate the same timing, the same rhythm. And we would have to do that over a period of time to start to see some better results. I believe that these kind of products can give you those results. However, this is not a quick fix. This is not going to be a simply a case of picking this golf club up and suddenly everything's all sorted. It's fine. We can go out there and we can get up and down most times. It really gives us a lot more awareness and that awareness we then need to take to our normal golf club when we're out on the golf course. Now, there's nothing to stop me hitting fuller shots here. So I can just take my starting position and just make that golf thing a little bit longer. And again, you can see how the timing and the rhythm have to be in such a way that allows me to hit this golf club. If my timing is poor, if I get a little bit quick in transition, if I get a little bit snatchy, it's gonna really highlight that down at impact so that ball's gonna go anywhere but where we want it to go. So it's called the G-Force Golf. It's called the G-Wedge. Now, on the first video I posted, I say the, pos uh, the results were, the results, the feedback was fairly positive, although a lot of people were asking me a bit more information about the product. So underneath this video, I'm gonna link the website so you can go and have a little bit of a look at this. I say, I think they do a seven iron, I think they do a putter, and they obviously do a wedge, because that's the one I've got in my hands here today. But if you are committed to investing some time in your short game, the addition of something like this to your practice can be very, very good. If you are the kind of golfer who feels that your transition's a bit jerky, it's a bit quick, you don't so you have a lot of rhythm. These are the kind of products that can really help you improve that element. It's a little bit heavy, but really strange. You know, it's a strange club to begin with. Don't get me wrong, it doesn't feel particularly easy to begin with, but as I say, it really makes you slow down. It really makes you think a little bit more what you're doing. And for me, it gives you a little bit more awareness of those all important areas of the golf swing, the takeaway, the transition, and also what that golf club head is doing through the golf ball. One of the things I would like to get my students to do is what I call take ownership of their golf swing. What I mean by that is taking ownership means I can pretty much make that club head do whatever I want it to do. I could make a golf swing which was super, super slow. I can make a golf swing which is a bit quicker. I can make a golf swing where the ball goes fairly low, fairly high. I have ownership of my golf swing. What I tend to see very often is with those golfers who maybe don't have as good a short game as they would like, they don't have that ownership. If I say to them, you know, make me a, you know, half back swing, so left arm level the ground, but only hit that ball five yards, they really struggle. They really kind of struggle to, you know, only hit that ball five yards. They've almost have what I call the green light, as in when that club moves away from the ball, it's a green light, it's go, everything kind of just happens. They don't have a huge amount of ownership. These kind of training games can help you do that. So I could make that goal swing where my lead arm goes halfway back, but I can only hit that ball a short distance. That was a little bit thin, as you can probably see. So for me, ownership of your swing is key. You need to be able to control that golf club. You need to be able to make it move fast, make it move slow, add loft, deal off, make it go left, make it go right, have a huge amount of control over that golf club. And I think something like this is a great addition to your practice. So that is another training aid review. Again, love to hear your comments. Is this something you like on my channel? I really think this channel can be a place where golfers can learn about their golf swing, but also I can offer you some of the things that are out on the market, which are gonna help you make those changes that you may need to make in your golf game. That is the G Force Golf G Wedge. Hugely flexible shaft, feels a bit strange, but with enough practice, we can hopefully get you hitting some better short chip and pitch shots out of the golf course, and that is hopefully gonna lower those scores. All the usual stuff is down below there. There's a like button, there's a comments box, and please subscribe if you're not already a subscriber. Loads more videos coming on my channel. Thank you again for watching. See you again soon.